What's going on you guys? So another Dell Latitude uh, 7400. This is the 14 inch screen. It's got an Intel Core i7 CPU. And this is a manufacture date, 2020 actually. So it's got a backlit keyboard also. I actually like it. It's like small and perfect for you guys if you have a kitchen or like, or if you're using it for, for home office or if you're doing like travel, this would be perfect. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy the same one if you want online. So I'm gonna upgrade the RAM and SSD. So I'm gonna switch to the backside. So you need a mini Phillips head screwdriver. And I'll put a link in the description, guys. So there are three screws here on the left, two in the middle, and three in the right side. And I'll put a, for the bit set, if you guys are looking to buy, if you don't have a Phillips mini head screwdrivers, I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy them. I recommend I'll put a, they sell them online. If you guys are asking what the price in the laptop, it just depends if you're buying like like new or brand like new or use grade A or grade B, like it just depends. If it's a really scratch, to go lower price, but if it's like new, you pay a lot more for it. Remove the back cover like this. So this one looks like it's still tight here on the left side. And first you guys are gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the battery from the connector to the motherboard. You can disconnect it before you can upgrade, just like that. So I'm gonna upgrade. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. I'm gonna add one more stick, make it total 32 gigs of RAM. It's got a SSD also in here, 2280 NVMe M.2. So basically, uh, it will max out. You can max out uh, four terabytes if you want. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy it. So it's got a heatsink. So it looks like I got one, two, three screws I have to remove. See, it has no dust on here, so I'm not gonna brush it off with this. I don't have to do anything. It's just, it has no dust on the back. I usually, when I upgrade, I use a brush, brush it off, but it looks like it's new. It has no dust on here. And you're gonna move the heat sink. And see that right here, you lift it up like this. And pull it up. And I'm gonna upgrade. Like if you guys can know how much the what's the storage should I go with? It just depends how much data, uh, how much music videos you have. I'll probably go at least one terabyte. Cause uh, if you run 500, you probably could, could actually run out of storage. So so it's gonna install it up like this and install the heatsink back. And you guys are asking, so when I got it, it came with Windows 10 and just basically upgrade to Windows 11, Windows 11 Pro actually, it came with Windows 10 Pro, you can upgrade. I'll also put a link in the description you guys can look at because I, I already made a similar video on this one. It was a 7490 and I did a Windows install and I sh I'll look in the description, you guys can buy a look at the video. And it will show you how to install Windows. It's, it's pretty fast and quick and easy. That's installed. Now, don't forget, you're gonna connect the connector back, the battery back to the motherboard, don't forget. So 
So now what I'm gonna do is start it from the bottom here. Right side. The corner. Be the left corner here also. Complete. See you guys at the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.